Hey guys, here we are. Welcome back to the mighty Mulloway Quest. Heading up the west coast this weekend. Couldn't go as far up as I wanted to because it's going to be a bit windy, so I thought I'd come back to one of the old surf beaches that I haven't tried for a while. Not as far west, but still catching good fish, so fingers crossed we'll get onto a few fish. And yeah, sorry she's been a long, long time in between drinks, but um, yeah, last season I just, yeah, it was a poor effort on my behalf. Did one one pretty big trip, well it was just a weekend trip up the dog fence, but I fished extremely hard for the weekend, but I only got one tiny little mull away. And yeah, that was it, weather just turned to shit up there. But um, on the way out, I managed to find a python. Sussed out this python I just found, guys, on the way back from dog fence. Must be a carpet python. That's insane. See if I can pick him up. He won't be there. Whoop. It's all right, mate. You're all right. That's so good. I'll get him off the road. How's that? Wild python. That's sick. That's awesome. He's so docile as well. That's sick. There you go, you beautiful thing. Mate, that is so good. Which is pretty sick, like I'm right into my reptiles and that, and that's, yeah, the first ever python I've ever seen, so I just um, sussed him out a little bit, picked him up, had a bit of a play with him, and yeah, just took him back into the scrub, got him off the road so he didn't get skittled, so that was, yeah, a super cool experience, but um, back on the hunt now, guys. I'm absolutely frothing, man. Could barely sleep last night, could barely sleep for this whole week, it's been frothing hard to get up here. Like I said, not as far west as I want to go, but you're still in a chance up here. So weather's looking good for the weekend. Gonna hit it hard, fish two nights, probably one and a half days, and yeah, see how we go, and um, catch you on the sand, and hopefully get stuck in some line peeling action. Stay tuned. Right, hey guys, so we just rocked up at the beach, and um, just had a look at, at the top of the cliffs there. We've seen one really nice patch of water, not even, but 300 meters from the entrance, so. We just pulled up here, gonna fish here tonight and um, tomorrow morning and possibly head up the beach and um, fish a patch of reef. But this looks like a nice bit of water. Big rip going out and the channel sort of thunnels in parallel to the beach for a bit. It's a beautiful entrance to the um, open ocean, so it's looking really good. I can't really show you, or I'll try to show you, but um, there's heaps of sea spray around, so you probably can't see it very good. Nice big entrance there, guys and funnels out down there. So I'll show you properly in the morning when there's a bit better lighting, but enough of me talking, let's get the burly out there. Woo! Rightio, so just got half a salmon in there, a couple old squid and a tuna log. So that's our first bit of burley we'll whack out there now. Let that dangle in the wash nicely. There we go. That's beautiful. And a bit of froth sauce right here. Froth sauce going in. Oh yeah, that's good. Rightio, let's rig up and start soaking the bait. First bait, just a couple of squid flaps. Rightio, we'll get him out there.
Just hooked up. Good fish, eh? This might be a gummy. Oh, yes. I cannot see there's that much sea spray. Oh yes guys, I think it's a gummy. Yeah, gummy. Oh yeah. Gumbo. Nice gummy guys. Get him up. There we go. Not a bad gummy. Right on sunset. Sun's just gone down. Decent fight, so get the hooks out. Quick photo, then back in the drink. Had a bad gummy here, guys. Sorry, I'm a bit puffed, man, running around like a madman. So I release him and start fishing again. Off he gone. Gone. Woo! I've got some silver gold now. Yep, we're on. Another gummy. Just missed a couple bites before earlier, but now we've got him. Whatever it is. Yeah, little gummy. There we go. Little gummy there, guys. I'll get the hooks out and quickly let him go and get another bait out. Righto guys, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see me, she's pretty dark at the moment, but um, I'm just going to call it a night for now, uh, just it's probably about half an hour past low tide, so um, I only got the two gummies, that first one was a pretty good fish, but the second one was pretty small, and um, I also missed a couple bites before that small gummy, so I had three decent bites within probably 10 to 15 minutes of each other, and ended up with that, um, that small gummy. So yeah, not sure if um, it was the same one or something else was hanging around. So uh, high tides at about uh, 10 to 5 this morning. It's now about 11 o'clock. So I'm going to go to bed now and wake up about 4:30 and um, fish the high tide at, at night. And then I'll just fish through till sunset. Have some brekkie and yeah, continue on the mission. So we'll catch us bright and early about 4:30 and um start soaking some baits hopefully we get some silver gold action for you morning legends it was hard getting up but it's currently uh 20 to 5. you see that there 20 to 5 i was very tempted to stay on my swag because it's gotten very cold now the dew's rolled in but um conditions look good it's almost high tide no wind, so we'll get a bait out and hopefully something happens. Stay tuned. Yep, we're on. Just as I put the rod back in the rod holder. Hope you guys can see that. Oh, yes. Oh, it's got some good head shakes. Feeling like another gummy though. Yeah, another gummy. Another nice surf gummy. Probably a tiny bit smaller than the first one. Put up a pretty good scrap as well. All right, we'll get the hooks out of him. Missed a bite, guys. Still there. Yep, got him. Just 
some old gummy, I reckon. Gummy sharks, eh? They're just everywhere. Bloody hell. Right, I reckon I'll have a couple more casts and then start cooking up some brekkie. So I'll get the hooks out and get another bait out there. Oh yes, all in. That is good sizzle. Head shaking, good guys. Oh, this might be a shark, I think. Almost on low tide as well. Oh, must be another big gummy. It hasn't bit me off yet. See it yet? Oh, Cracking gumbo. Oh, that's a nice gummy. That is a very nice gummy. Whoa, that's a nice one. That's a solid gummy, eh? <laughs> That'll be my biggest gummy. Alright, we'll get him back, guys. Pumping gummy. Oh, probably my PB gummy, I reckon. She's a good sauce. Get him back on drink. Righty guys, just a quick update on today's events. Uh, the morning session produced that nice gummy, which is good, a bit of action, but um, that was it. It was pretty quiet besides that. The weed was pretty bad as well, so I went for a um, pretty big drive up the um, beach here, sussing out that reef, but couldn't find any fishable gutters. They were like super shallow, and yeah, just didn't look fishy at all, but um, hopefully one day we can come back here and there's actually some decent gutters down there. But um, on the way back, I just drove along the beach and pulled up at this new spot, a bit further down the beach, so new spot, we're going to test it out, got the burly cranking now, it's probably about an hour and a half of my tide, so we'll soak the bait, sit back, relax, have a few froffies and wait for that rod to buckle over in that reel stream, so keep you posted if we get anything.
Salvo's a high tide session didn't um, produce anything. Just had a few, had a few nice bites though, but didn't really commit to the bait. Just yeah, didn't manage to get a hook in it. So that was a bit of shit. Then um, I've got half a salmon. I'll chuck in the burly bag. Pump the burly out for a few hours and fish. I don't know, an hour or two after dark, and then go to bed. Wake up, fish the high tide early in the morning, probably fish an hour or so after the sunrise and then head on. So I'm not going to worry about staying around during the day much tomorrow, just going to head back. So try and fish hard while I can tonight and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Just going to chill out a bit and um, catch it back when we're fishing. Righto, here we go. Sunset session. Burley's been out for a while. Got a nice bait, so see how we go. We're on. Oh. Just had a salmon trout out. Oh. I was just packing up my gear. Holy shit. I felt a couple little, what I think were head shakes, but I'm not sure, eh? Coming in pretty easy. Might be another big gumbo. I don't think it's a Mulloway though. He's in pretty close now. We have to get it up this wave. Yeah, big gummy. Ah, far out. It's a cracker gummy though. <laughs> it's just not still gold. Oh, she's another horse gummy.
Gonna have to go down and grab this one. Wow, that's bigger than the last one. <laughs> that's a thumper. Holy smokes, that's a big one. Sun's just coming up. Holy shit. That's a thumper, guys. Look at the guts on it. Hooks out. Quick photo. Send this big girl back in a drink. Might even be pregnant. It's pretty fat. All right. Now that is a horse gummy guys, I can actually barely lift that. There she is. Off she goes. Alrighty guys, so we're finally on the road. Just had some car dramas before, which was pretty interesting and a bit stressful, but um, we're back mobile now. Just had the battery go flat when I was pumping up the tires and um, the car was running as well, so that was a bit trippy. But yeah, I was just, um, I was charging up, just charging up some of the camera equipment and all that last night. And, I only just managed to start the car this morning and then yeah, must not have enough charge left in the battery to keep it going while I was charging up the, while I was pumping up the tyres, sorry, so. Yeah, so that's it for the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Had a bit of string pulling action with some nice gummies, so it's good to tangle them. But unfortunately, no mighty mulloy, but I'll hopefully get back up the west coast soon. Back further up west, which is where I really want to focus my efforts on this season and put some big hours up there. So hopefully bring home the gold soon. And it was also awesome getting to meet Jason and his son, little Jason. When um, I was first getting to the beach Friday night, they come up and said g'day, and it was awesome to get to know him. Uh, he's an absolute legend if you're watching, and good luck with your travels in the future. So that's it for the episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it and make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more because there's going to be plenty more Mulloway action and also some good fishing videos coming up. So catch you in the next one. Cheers.